You know what? What, what is important? Um, each vineyard, each great site has its own smell. So you, you walk through the vineyard, you touch the weeds, you touch the grass, and you really uh, each each vine each vineyard reminds me of something. And when I walk in it, uh, there comes a special flavor again. And you know exactly the cuticula uh, of the grape, so the skin. It's extremely sensible. Um, not only. Uh, does it save uh, um, all the flavors that, that come by means of the water, so the roots? It also saves everything from its in, 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 in environment. Therefore, I, I don't want to plant something or to seed to to make seeds in in uh, in the vineyard that that influence the, the original um, environment of the of the of the grape. I. Um, yeah, I, I want this special flavor in the vineyard that, that is typical for the vineyard. Uh, John Gilman asked me, um, or is interested in hearing some of your experience with Rousseau and Vignet, and, and if there are things that you learned in Burgundy that you might not have learned if you hadn't gone, or things that you use in winemaking that you saw there that you admire? Um, one thing that is great is, is um, the, the respect uh, the winemakers show for their differ different soils uh, and, and, and clima. Um, they really trust 100% their wines and their soils and are not that much focused on getting quality uh, by means of a special selection of a, um, before I went to France, I was uh, also um, in South Africa, and it was a completely different uh, picture. Here, people trusted, or there, people trusted much more in in winemaking techniques, and in Burgundy, it was a completely different thing. The so winemaking was not that important at that time. The wines. Um, were distemmed or not distemmed, that depended on the philosophy of the winemakers, and it came into a big old wooden uh, uh, wets and, and started, started to ferment. Some controlled the fermentation temperature, others said, um, let the wine make uh, as he wants. Uh, but what I really learned in Burgundy is that you have to trust your grapes and to trust your soils. And when you are not really convinced uh, um, by your by your soils uh, uh, and by the work you 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 invest in the in the vineyard, um, you you will make a completely different wine, which is much more artificial and much more um, yeah made than than uh, it in my opinion uh, should be. Did you because you grew up farming here? Have you always had? faith in the quality of the vineyards, or has that grown as you've worked more on the land? Um, I, I think the, 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 the quality or the potential quality of the vineyards were, were discovered by my parents, who really believed a lot in the, in the, in the region and the, the, um, um, and the sites uh, here, and they, they started also um, um, to, 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 to plant very, very good uh, uh, material which, which, which low yields, uh, uh, which, which had small berries, which much better flavor. So in, in former times you had clones with very big clusters. Uh, so quantity was the most important thing 50 years ago, not, not quality. So my, my parents uh, really remembered the time 100 years back when the best German wines uh, uh, stood on the same level um, on wine lists as, as, uh, as the top chateau in Bordeaux. Uh, even were more expensive than the top Bordeaux. Um, but um, yeah, a, a, a lot uh, uh, a lot was lost the last uh, 50, 60, 70 years, and my, my parents remembered it and really believed in the region and in the potential of the region and uh, started to build up our winery. And so for, for me, it was um, yeah, a, a very, very uh, uh, easy thing. Okay, it, I, 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 I found the right partner. My wife is also uh, very wine enthusiastic. She learned uh, 
at Müller Katwa in the Falls and at Robert Wein, uh, Weil in the Rheingau. So she had two beautiful estates um, to, to get uh, into contact with, uh, with wine and um, it was not difficult for us uh, to, um, yeah, to continue here because we are not only winemakers, we are big wine lovers and I, I uh, really extraordinary like, like the, the Great Mosel or Rheingau or Nah Riesling and um, Yeah, so, so the fascination wine, it's just what we want to, to give to our customers as well.